Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to obtain an e-visa online. Now the information I'm going to provide in this video applies to most countries in Southeast Asia and around the world, but for today's video we're going to talk about specifically Vietnam. Vietnam reopens their borders on March 15th to all international travelers. You'll be able to once again acquire tourist visas, so that is very exciting information. Now with American citizens and citizens of most of their countries, you can show up to Vietnam without a visa and you're almost assured acceptance upon arrival, but that can be very intimidating. If you want a little bit of assurance, you can apply for your visa ahead of time. The easiest way to do it is to go to Google and type e-visa Vietnam or whatever country it is that you are traveling to. E-visa stands for electronic visa. When you hit enter, you're gonna be offered a plethora of options, different middlemans, different companies, that will help you acquire an electronic visa. They're all gonna be priced about the same. If you want the cheapest option, the best bet is to go to the government website and apply directly there and cut out the middleman. If you want a pretty safe option and want to play a little bit extra for that assurance, I'm affiliated with iVisa.com. I'll provide the link below. And if you wanna support me, you can use this link. If you want to use iVisa and you don't wanna support me, just remove this section from the URL and I will not collect any commission. Either way, it's gonna cost you the same amount of money. So to get started on this webpage, select the country in which you are from. I'm from the United States, so I have it set to the United States. And for the sake of this video, I am going to pick Vietnam and then we're gonna hit get started. You're gonna be offered many different options. The cheapest option is gonna be a 30-day e-visa on arrival, single entry. Single entry means you can come in, but once you leave, the visa will be invalidated and you won't be allowed back in without applying for another visa. If you would like a multiple entry visa, meaning you can come in and out, perhaps you wanna hop over to Cambodia or Laos and come back to Vietnam, it'll cost you a little bit more. If you wanna stay for 90 days, multiple entry, you can of course select this option, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go with the cheapest option, which is a 30-day e-visa on arrival. We're gonna to go to apply now. Here you're gonna to have to fill in your estimated start of trip. So you're gonna to need to have your flight planned ahead of time. This applies to most countries and most e-visa application processes. You're gonna tell them what day you're gonna come. And for Vietnam, since the borders open on March 15th, we're gonna select March 15th. This is only a 30-day visa, so we're gonna put in April 13th. So the total price for a single entry 30-day e-visa on arrival is gonna be $50.50. From that point, we're gonna hit continue, and then you're gonna to have to fill out all information that is applicable to yourself. After you scroll down, you're gonna to need to choose a quarantine facility. This option is no longer available. What you will be expected to do is provide your Airbnb or hotel address and promise them you will self-isolate yourself for 24 hours. As with most international travel at the moment, you will need to bring with you a negative COVID test that's valid within three days of arriving at that country. At that point, we're gonna hit continue. They're gonna ask more information from you, such as your email address and payment information. Another thing worth noting, Vietnam is requiring $10,000 USD medical insurance. You don't need $10,000 USD to enter. You just need 10,000 USD's worth of insurance. And I did some shopping to try to find 10,000 USD COVID medical insurance. And the best I could find was luma.com, which offers 50,000, which is five times the required minimum. And for 30 days, that will cost you $50 USD. I highly recommend shopping around, trying to find the best deal. Try to get it close to the minimum as possible so you can save some money. If you don't have an American passport, I can help you with that. I made a video a few months ago, which I will link at the end screen. Also, if you need photographs for your passport, feel free to use the iVisa website. I'll provide a link for your passport photos below. They offer a service to where you can take your photographs with your phone and you can email them and they will return the photographs to you in the proper format through standard business mail. And then you can take those to your acceptance facility. I highly encourage international traveling and I especially encourage traveling to Vietnam now that the borders are reopening on March 15th. I hope to see you here. Thanks guys and stay awesome.